what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so let me talk about scream 7 in this video here today now we're talking about scream 7 it hasn't even freaking been greenlit officially by anybody associated with paramount at least to my knowledge and we haven't heard anything from deadline we haven't heard anything from bloody disgusting nothing from variety nothing from spyglass nothing from radio silence nothing but now viewer anon has come out and echoed a little bit what we were hearing was the rumor about scream 7 and that is that they want to have this movie shooting by the end of the year viewer anon has chimed in to say that they might as well say this publicly with this kind of info they said they have a source at paramount who tells them that they want scream 7 to be shooting by october at the very latest now the reason why this is very exciting is because it seems to kind of highlight that while Scream 5 may not have been intended to spark a new trilogy, the writers involved with it, no matter what you think about them negatively, they have been cooking up things just in case they needed to be ready for the next sequel. They have mapped out something if they're doing these movies this fast. I don't think that they're necessarily rushing in the sense of, sure, when I see the movie like I have with the last two, I could have my gripes with the script and say, oh, you could have done better in certain departments. But in terms of what you want to tell as a story, I don't think that they're rushing. They've had plenty of time to cook up these stories and they're doing that seemingly with no issue because of the fact that one, they want to do Scream 7 by at least October at the latest, according to viewer Ignan. That's when they want to have this filming anyway. And then we know that with Scream 6, that was already written prior to Scream 5 even being released. They literally already had a Blackmore office registered in Montreal prior to 5 even being dropped. They were ready to go for 6 because they had all that time in between filming 5, waiting for it to release, to prepare and write up 6. And now, of course, when you have that done, you can map out an outline for 7. And as the release of six gets closer, you can flesh out an entire screenplay for seven. And I think they have done that. I genuinely think they have done that. And I think that we are going to see Scream 7 filming by the fall at this point. When you have not only Screen Geeks reporting it, which I was a little bit skeptical about, you now have viewer non chiming in. Now all we need is somebody from Variety, Deadline, Bloody Disgusting, somebody at Paramount, Spyglass, somebody directly involved with the project to tell us flat out that Scream 7 will be filming this fall. Now, it doesn't say that it will film this fall. It says that this is the latest they want it to be filming by. I think that they could have some complications and end up filming in the winter, but I think one thing is for certain. Even if it's in the fall, winter, or even well because that's still winter early 2024 let's say it starts filming early 2024 scream 7 can still release in october halloween 2018 did it halloween ends did it i'm not sure if halloween kills did it but yeah the movies that were shot in the same year and released in the same year that can be done shit saw x is about to do it um i'm really excited about this these are exciting times to be in as a scream fan i do want to say this though i think that after scream 7 we need to dial it back a little bit let the franchise go away for a little while let some new trends and tropes come out about the genre bring it back a few years later focus on sydney's kids if you still think that's the appropriate direction to take i'm not saying sydney doesn't need to be in scream 7 although i don't really see a necessity for her to be in the final film my selfishness would love to see her in the movie i just don't want to label that as a necessity however going into scream 7 i have been thinking about an opening sequence related to sydney inviting everybody over for like a dinner or something in this way this is kind of borrowing elements in a way from a scrapped scream 4 opening i believe because i didn't just think of this out of thin air there's something that i'm i'm trying to recall where this came from i think it was a scrapped scream 4 idea where you have the survivors gathered at let's say a dinner or something sydney's sydney can cater hosting Ghostface strikes, somebody out of the survivors dies. You have a survivor killed in the very, very beginning of the movie. Now, because of where this happens, it's in Sydney's hometown. Everybody has to stick around, and that's how you get all your survivors back. You get the core four back. You get Sydney and Kincaid involved. Kirby can be there as well, and they all have to stick around to try to figure out who Ghostface is. You can throw in your new characters to um, whatever the case may be. And I think we still need to have Christina Carpenter in here. I know people are like Christina Carpenter seems like they are planting seeds for Christina to be the killer in Scream 7. If anything, I think they might just be planting the seeds for something big to actually play out with her in 7. Not necessarily making her the killer because I just think that Christina, in a lot of ways, she might be holding on to a very big secret that I don't think could be a complete, complete disaster to do. 
and it again parallels Scream 3, but in my opinion, in a lot of ways, it actually comes off a little better than Scream 3. And what I'm thinking about that I believe could be done better than having a long lost brother is finally introducing Christina. She's not Ghostface, because I think that's what people are expecting. Uh, don't make her Ghostface. I think you can leave that for a newbie character. You can still do that same exploitative motive. I'm tired of this. I want all of you dead stuff. Somebody who's who doesn't like the Stab franchise, they don't like the media coverage and the media profiting off all these strategies. They hate Gale Weathers, yada, yada, yada. You can apply that to a new character. But with Christina, what I think could happen is you could have her come in and she could reveal that not only was she carrying the daughter of Billy Loomis, I've seen the idea tossed around that she was involved in the death of Marine Prescott as maybe like she was the one driving the getaway car or something. I don't think they need to do that. What I think wouldn't be too complicated, though, is the fact that Christina Carpenter was indeed involved in these sprees in some capacity. In the in the sense of one, yes, she did indeed know that uh, Billy killed Marine. But she always had a crush on Billy. We knew this. She was in love with the guy. And not only that, that's not the only thing she knew. She knew about him committing the murders in the original Scream. She knew about what him and Stu were doing. Now, in between messing around with Sydney, Billy is hopping to Christina, Christina, telling her, hey, when I'm done with Sydney, we can be together. You and me. Now, of course, she's in love with the guy. She's eating this up. She's going through that phase where she's in the bad boys, this, that, and the third. But this this guy is completely just unhinged, of course. But she she's just so in love with Billy Loomis. She's she's completely deranged just as much as he is, in a way. And she's blinded by love. That's something I think you could do. You could literally tell us she already knew what they were doing, but she never told anyone. Now, of course, she literally couldn't tell anyone now because she was pregnant with the dude's kid. That would open up a lot of questions. She could have possibly had herself implicated in this and had her had her life destroyed uh, as an ex being being mentioned as an accessory because she, she kind of was like was an accomplice. You knew what they were doing and you didn't tell anybody. I think that her revealing this in Scream 7 could make for a very big twist without being something that's too hands on. Like, oh, she was in the getaway car, this, that and the third. I don't think we need to see anything like that. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.